and we are live so welcome back everybody another adventure on arc with steampunk on the modded server carneo primal so yes this is a private server it's mine and we got a few little details for you today about the steampunk mod this was updated a little while ago to include an airship so we are up on the airship and let's take a look at it <laughs> this was built by somebody on the, the server one of my friends on the server and it is absolutely massive let's zoom out a little bit and we can't even zoom out anymore because it's so damn big <laughs> so we are floating above the island on this big massive airship and let's go take a look at it we have ourselves a pretty big platform here this took almost a month of basically gathering and crafting for the one individual uh, this is again my buddy that's on here dredge we'll start on the main deck so this is the main area where you can set up like workshops tools whatever you want to install in here and you can see we've got a couple of the modded benches this thing is absolutely massive i'm glad i'm showing this in the daytime because otherwise it'd be too dark but again massive he's got a full workshop set up here he's got lots of storage and that's uh still not taking up hardly any room on here he still has a whole nother room over here <laughs> Let's go to the most and more exciting parts. All right, so we've got a couple areas here we can get a good view. So there's three decks total. There's the lower deck, the flight deck, and of course, we've got the control deck with living quarters. Just look at this massive thing. Got a good view everywhere. You can go up on both sides. Oop, almost jumped off there. That would be bad. <laughs> Got the tech armor on so we could uh, like fly around a little bit. Anyway, let's come over here where we can get a good view. This is the bridge. So let's go up in the bridge. This is the third deck. So, uh, let's see. You. So I don't want to drive it because this isn't mine. But this is where you actually drive from. Uh, the one thing you have to be careful of is, you notice we have a teleporter pad on this. You can teleport this around by accident. All right. So, hey, look at this. We even got a little organ. How the game sounds down a bit right now, so you won't hear it. But <laughs> Yeah, it should actually be working. Maybe I got them too low. Anyway, so we got a pipe organ. <laughs> yep got his bed so this is basically the captain's quarters yeah steampunk christmas tree a little dark in here skim up just a little bit there we go now we can see steampunk tree uh, bubbling pillars i haven't seen these yet this is new little bit of loading oh my <laughs> so this is like i said it's huge it's massive this is a flying base it's absolutely massive so this is just a little showcase video i just wanted to show this off as you can see there's plenty of room for all kinds of dinos this is primal fear dinos by the way if anybody's wondering these are celestials most of them there's poison celestials couple of different things but yeah let's uh take a flight out here let's see if we can get a better view of this thing look how massive that thing is yeah steampunk mod uh yeah <laughs> ice bez you've outdone yourself on this one this is absolutely massive <laughs> again it takes hours upon hours of crafting and gathering resources in order to make this it's just beyond words <laughs> it's 
a huge project. Oh, apparently I'm hungry and I don't have food on me. Oh, well, we'll take care of that in a moment. Yeah, I better go take care of that for it's too much worse. Otherwise, the screen's going to keep flashing red. So we've got all the other steampunk stuff down here. This is my base. We got something. Oh, piranha, probably. We'll let everything go after the piranhas. Oop. Get unstuck, please. Oh, I landed right in the turrets. That doesn't help. Let me grab some food so I can quit flashing. We'll go up and finish taking a look at that monster. Food, food, food. Where am I? Food. Oh, there's food. Let's get a couple of food. Okay. That'll work. Now where were we at? Oh, yeah. We're inside my steampunk base. Let's go back up to the showcase here. While oh, it's getting dark. This is actually de-renders for my base. <laughs> Let's brighten it up a bit more. Yeah, I just don't want it to be too dark. But yeah, this thing is a beast. It's beautiful. All the detail work that went into it. It'd be kind of interesting if you could go in, like have access to this lower part here. If that was a door that we, you could open up, that'd be pretty cool, but <laughs> there is so much to this already. It's just amazing. Now, one thing that really blew me away and can't do it right now, I don't think, because I think it has to have fuel to do that, and I don't know if it has fuel in it right now. But these fans, when you move it around, twist and turn just as if they would have to in to really move it is pretty amazing i do have to figure out why i'm not having the arc sounds they're not loud enough to hear probably just have it down too much let me check see if i got them muted so we should be able to hear those yeah it's not muted Let's see. Okay, let's play with the mixer settings a little bit. Nope, it's maxed out. Uh, I just have the game sounds down too low, I guess. Options. Uh, let's see. Master volume, music volume. I don't want music on, just master volume. Let's try that. Well, we don't want to exit. Can we hear him? Oh, I'm flying in them. I don't want to fly in the fans. Good thing is you don't take damage for doing that. So that's good. And this is the Steampunk Airship. Steampunk mod, mod by Icebez. This thing again is massive. Again, teleporting on this is very risky. It can take the ship with you because this is actually considered a dino. As health, the airship, level 225. <laughs> Gender, NA. Although I'm not sure why the health says it's low. It's only got one third health. And I wonder if that maybe needs repair. But I don't think there's a way to actually repair it. Anyway, I think I'm just going to keep it short here. That's all I got for now. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you in the next one.